Hi, Phil. Um, welcome to the AWS Enterprise Video Series. Thanks. It's really good to be here. So today we're going to be talking about culture and the impact of cloud. Can you tell us a little bit about how companies and organizations around the world are seeing their culture change with implementation and deployment of cloud? Yeah, well, you know, especially for enterprises uh, who have really struggled to adopt new development capabilities that help them increase the consistency and pace of delivery is they're using cloud technologies as also a natural pivot point for them to go deeper into agile development and DevOps principles uh, so that they're able to actually marry that cloud infrastructure with those internal process and culture uh, capabilities in order to uh, speed up the interaction and feedback loop between product ideas and, and customer interaction. So we also hear that even though the cloud drives a lot of productivity and there's a lot of benefits, there's also some resistance and some concerns because of the changes in culture and the way we've done things in the past. So what, what are your thoughts in terms of how to overcome some of these objections? Yeah, I think um, initially the, the important thing to do is to focus on communication and training. Uh, in the organization. Com communication of what the intention of the cloud is uh, and benefit it's uh, intended for, uh, as well as what uh, is going to be expected of the teams as you make this transition. And in fact, when, uh, the, when most organizations build a business case to move to the cloud at scale, they, we, it's common for us to see productivity gains in those business cases of 30 to 70% that the companies themselves are forecasting. So the, the, the key is driving um, that communication of the plan, of team uh, specific roles, and uh, how things will be structured in the organization uh, as a result of adoption of the cloud. Great. So from what I'm gathering is th this is a, an ongoing process. It's not a you know binary thing that it, you flip a switch and it, it just happens. So what are some of the best practices and some of the things that you've learned over your career that can really help facilitate that um, uh, deployment into a cloud culture world? Yeah, well, I mean, first is getting the, the, the uh, team and the, and the organization some exposure to the cloud, what it means to work in that. And that often happens, what we see through a, a, a cloud center of excellence, which is a, you know, a core group of individuals that are really cross-functional, across security, infrastructure, planning, um, and um, product development to uh, work uh, on cloud projects and to make and deliver actual working functionality for the business using the cloud. And that's really used as, as a springboard to both train the organization, help build a business case, and also help the organization see the kind of pace that they'll be operating at in this new world. Awesome. This is great, really appreciate it. So, are there any parting thoughts or anything you would want to leave the audience with uh, for them to become stewards of uh, change and adoption of cloud? Yeah, I mean, I think one of the things you see is companies, uh, uh, their, their view of the cloud evolves over time, not just their use of the cloud. And to start, it's looked at uh, much like a uh, cost and optimization opportunity, uh, sometimes to increase the pace uh, uh, of innovation and to unblock uh, certain aspects of the business. Uh, but really, as you move forward and, and adopt cloud native capabilities, the business really starts to change overall because um, you change from servers and storage to API calls that can really be leveraged at a, at a quick pace to adopt new services and, and again, delivering more value more quickly for the business. Great, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thank you.